This video will cover the topic, sketching the graph of y equals sine x plus d, or y equals cosine x plus d. Adding or subtracting a constant to the whole function results in a vertical translation, right? That's right. Let's take a look at how to approach these problems. First, we can plot the standard y equals cosine x graph by graphing five key points. The x-coordinates of key points occur every pi halves units, starting at x equals 0 and ending at x equals 2 pi. So we substitute 0, pi halves, pi, 3 pi halves, and 2 pi into our function for x. These inputs give outputs of y equals negative 1, y equals 0, or y equals 1. We see that the function completes one cycle as x ranges from x equals 0 to x equals 2 pi, so the key points correspond to the x-intercepts, minima, and maxima within one cycle of y equals cosine of x, and we note that the midline of the graph is the horizontal line y equals 0. Now let's say we wanted to graph y equals cosine of x minus 1. To obtain our new y-coordinates, we subtract 1 from the y-coordinates of the points from the original function. When we do this, our entire graph is translated down by one unit. We see that the period of the graph is unchanged, but the maximum value is now 0 and the minimum value is now negative 2. So the midline of the graph is the horizontal line y equals negative 1, which has been shifted down one unit from the midline of the original function. Do the same rules apply for sine functions? They do. Let's compare the graph of y equals sine of x and the translated graph of y equals sine of x plus 1. We can visually see that the graph of sine of x plus 1 is translated upward one unit from the graph of sine of x. If we compare their key points, we also see that we have added 1 to each output value for the function y equals sine of x plus 1 compared to the output values of the function y equals sine of x. Okay, so if a constant is added or subtracted from a sine or cosine function, this corresponds to a vertical translation of the graph upward or downward. To translate the graph, we can add or subtract the constant from the output values of the original function and plot our new points. That's exactly right. Great work!